Hey guys, Bob Black here, Bob on Bass. Thanks for joining me on my channel today. Today I've got a really awesome bass to check out, one that's not too expensive. There it is, wow. So stick around. Okay, so today we've got the, the uh, Ray 24. Uh, it's a, it's a, made by a Music Man. It's a Sterling model. Sterling by Music Man Ray 24 CA. So this is the classic model, which is, uh, I mean, it's really, really nicely made. Um, let's let's look, take a look at it. I mean, the neck, the width is 1.5, so it's basically like a jazz bass neck. Now, my um, I have a 2017 uh, Ernie Ball Stingray, the American one. Um, the neck is a lot wider. It's more like a P bass. So this is more narrow. It's like a jazz bass. It's a satin finish on the back. It's really nice and comfortable. Very, very smooth. I mean, you don't find this kind of quality usually in basses around the... This, this is a $500 bass in this price range. This is really nice. Um, the body, this is a maple neck. The body is mahogany. Um, you can see a little bit of the wood grain through the finish. And it's really nicely balanced. Usually, you know, an inexpensive instrument is neck heavy and so forth. No, this is nicely balanced. I mean, I, you know, a student brought this in and said, hey, would you check this out for me? And I'll tell you what. I mean, my uh, 2017 Ernie Ball Music Man Stingray cost me $1,800 when I bought it new in 2017. This is a $500 base. Would I take this on the gig tonight? Absolutely, absolutely. It's very high quality. It's got a very nice bridge. Feels the same as the Music Man I got. Only thing, this is a three band, I mean a two band EQ. It's just got bass and treble. Whereas the new ones, you get the uh, mid range as well. My first Music Man Stingray that I bought uh, in the early 80s was just like this with two band EQ. It's one of those basses, I'm sorry I sold it, you know. But anyway, this is very close to that for $500. It's is amazing. Very, very good sound. Um, this has a slab body, okay? So there's no contour here. Okay, so it's just a slab, like the very first ones. I mean, it sounds great. It plays great. Um, I don't know what else to say. But anyway, let's take a listen to it. Once again, I'm at my studio, so I'm just going through the uh, camera audio here. Um, I've got the bass and the treble all the way off. Stingray type basses, or you know, you can only do that certain sound, but it's not really true. I'm gonna add a little bass, um, leave the treble down, so maybe something like. with the bass halfway up. Uh, let's take that back to zero. Let's put the treble halfway up. Now this is a sound that uh, some people like it. Some people will buy a Stingray just for that sound. For me, it's not my favorite. Halfway, treble halfway. 
students come in with inexpensive basses, you know, um, go to adjust uh, the, the bridge height, you know, <laughs> the saddle height on the bridge, and the, and the Allen wrench strips, you know, even though it's the right size, and, or strip a uh, truss rod, that's another thing. This has the, um, the uh, wheel right here. What an awesome way to adjust the truss rod. So, for 500 bucks, this thing is an absolute steal. I play this on every gig. I play this in the studio. No problem. I love this bass. This is a great, great buy. Anyway, thanks for joining on my channel, guys. Please hit the like and subscribe button, please. Uh, show some support for my channel here, and I'll just keep coming out with videos for you. Thanks for joining me.